Located in northern Saskatchewan, Isle Cross is one of Western Canada's oldest Métis communities. Inhabited for centuries by both Cree and Dene First Nations, it was not until 1776 that the community was formally established as a trading post for the Montreal-based fur trade. For over 225 years, Isle Cross has been a vibrant, midship-speaking Métis community with strong roots to the fur trade and the land. On June 24, 1776, fur traders Alexander Henry and Joseph Frobisher arrived at Lac Isle Cross in search of furs. Henry and Frobisher quickly realized the region's fur trade potential and had Louis Primo and Frobisher's older brother Thomas travel to the lake where they erected the first trading post at the present site of Isle Cross. Lac Isle Cross was a strategic location to build a fur post since the region had a large First Nations population and was blessed with an abundance of fauna such as waterfowl, moose, beaver, muskrat and fish. However, the lake was, more importantly, part of the Churchill River system draining into Hudson Bay. It was also only a short journey north to the lakes leading into the northern Mackenzie River system. Clearly, Isle of Cross was the prime location to open up the fur-rich subarctic Athabasca region to the fur trade. Isle of Cross was, from its beginnings, a quintessential Métis community. Métis Sage was practiced shortly after the arrival of the first European traders. In 1784, Patrick Small became the first Northwest Company employee to operate a year-round post on the lake. Here, Small married a local Indian woman and started a family, thus laying the foundation for a new bicultural fur trade community. By the 1780s, both the Hudson Bay Company and the Northwest Company had begun tapping into the region's lucrative fur trade. Here, the fur company employees began setting up fur posts and establishing relationships with the local Cree and Dene women. As a result, a small Métis community began to flourish. In time, the Métis became a permanent labor force for the fur trade, serving the fur companies as guides, interpreters, servants, laborers, and provisioners. These men and their Métis families began to spread out around the posts and the lake establishing a network of Métis families at Isle Cross, Sucker Point, Sandy Point, Big Island, Halfway Lake, Fort Black, Beaver River, Canoe River, and Rosser Bay. The fur trade in what is now northern Saskatchewan provided stability for many Métis communities, including Isle Cross. As the fur trade required an extensive land base, the annual Métis economic cycle of living off the land and regularly visiting the fur posts continued. By the mid-19th century, the concentration of French Michif-speaking people was so significant that in 1846, Isle of Cross was selected as the site of the first Oblate mission in the Northwest, outside of the Red River Settlement. As a result, permanent mission housing both French-speaking priests and the Grey Nuns became part of the community. Today, Isle of Cross remains a closely-knit community interconnected by bonds of family, kinship and friendship. With over 225 years of fur trade history, many are still able to trace their names to the early days of the fur trade with Cree, Dene, English, Scottish and French Canadian ancestors. Today, names such as Bouvier, Case, Daignon, La Riviere, Morris, McCall, Johnson, Gardner and Roy continue to be found in Isle Cross. In the past, the land and its abundant resources allowed the community of Isle Cross to follow a traditional lifestyle and a seasonal cycle. Hunting, fishing, trapping and gathering 
provided the mainstay of their diet and guaranteed their independence. Today, elders recall these traditional activities. We are born in an old mansion, not to make much made. She's a pussy sheep, but she's a born in an old to make what to get good. When Peggy got that stock at school, I will flower tie out at peace or cower. She's a pata name, my dear, my gay coy. The cow made so in poco. Gay pitching on, gay pitching on, gay machi of nappy work. Ye <laughs> I'm <laughs> He swapped egg napin, came my chip chair, two times in deep. I said, Pia, go, Mamma. He do my chip chair. Give up, boys. I ain't give me all your none. trap in those days, eh? All winter trap all winter and they they made enough money to to survive in the summertime, eh? Uh -huh. And there was a lot of fish, a lot of moose. There's no no law like today, eh? We used to hunt dogs any time in front of your door in those days and the same as moose. But the only we even traveled by by canoe and paddle. Not leg motors at 100 miles an hour. Those days there was no no motors, just paddle. There was no meat in the stores. Few can meat. Eh? But like that, like today, you don't hunt it. You get, if you want meat, you just walk to the store and get some. Eh? It's a lot of money today, not like 50, 60 years ago. Everything was so cheap. Tobacco, you have to buy tobacco by packet for 10 cents a packet. Same as, same as butter, eh? For 10 cents a pound, creamy butter. And now you, nobody can afford to eat. It wasn't very easy, it was real hard. Sometimes you had to go and fish the net and cook it for breakfast. Lots of time we did that, me and my brother Jeffrey, eh? But you had to eat, had to eat some, something. When I go work in the garden, he, he bake some bread and bannock for that old lady and he give it to us. And tea and sugar like that.
Weil nein, Georg ist nicht zu Georg. Ich brauche Georg bei Georg. Genau das ist zu Georg. Hat sein Baby gespielt. Aber ich habe auch nicht am Morgen so ein Tag am Morgen gestanden. So ist es aber. Ich habe auch noch das zu Georg. Ich bin nicht besser. Ich habe auch nicht mehr zu Georg. 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 One of five families, three families, kind of come. Mama, I get to skip. Ah, they go. Ah, we go in the hut. We go in the fire. We go in the sun. We go in the sun. We go in the hut. 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 Ik weet in de volgende dag is het piet. Ik moet zien maar of ze dat is het piet ook weer ja wel. Maar toch ga ik schiet naar Holga. We gaan weer iets zien. Ik weet dat ik nooit iets pas kreeg of iets. Ik weet dat ik nooit iets pas kreeg of iets. Ik weet dat ik nooit iets pas kreeg of iets. Ik weet dat ik nooit iets pas kreeg of iets. Ik weet dat ik nooit iets pas kreeg of iets. Ik weet dat ik Three families, five families. Mama we, mama we in bunch, five families as go. We be a go no no chan, and be a go ya got chi on day an, and the gam na hoko ma, the pasa kwa we as, paki no ki o ga samina ni sepuestana, no me a samina. Ek si si all summer ago ti. Women in the community spent a great deal of time gathering foods such as berries, mushrooms, nuts, and eggs to supplement their diets and for medicinal purposes. With increased access, women began to incorporate ingredients such as flour, sugar, and salt into the preparation of their meals. <laughs> ตั้งเมื่อมาจนอดจะก็จะสมมาติตุสเกปักกี้เกี่ยวกับกามาเทียกามาทิพย์เทียกปักกี้เกี่ยวกับวิญญาณสิบปัจจุบันปัญหาว
And there was an old man there, an old lady said, I'll go and get my that old man, see what, he, see what he can do. A good medicine man, eh? And he, he said, I'll just put something in here. He said, the hot stuff, so you can sleep good, he said. But I'll fix you up early tomorrow morning. You know, you won't believe what he did, what it was true. Yeah. He, he cut it in here a little bit, he took the blood out. He had a little, little horn leg, but he put it in hot water. And every time he put it there, and he, he sucked that milk, and he, he dumped it uh, and, uh, in the dish leg. It was quite a bit blood that's just black. Oh, wow. And uh, after he finished that, I fell asleep. Eh? Mm -hmm. And he leaned me right on the floor in the, inside the house. So, and uh, he gave me some medicine to boil it and drink it. If you follow this, what I'm going to tell you is that you'll be an old man before you get that sickness back again. You won't be, won't be sorry. I never had my throat trouble. Oh, really? My tonsils are still in there. And uh, this is a true story. In later years, many began to cultivate large vegetable gardens and raise livestock to complement their diet of wild foods. Gardening became a very important food source as many vegetables could be stored throughout the winter. Big barns on our tigers, they were down the lake. They went by Matsu, mean summer, and they gave them also chick. Not to wait so. In the summertime, means I pray is that he gave a hasta chicken and he does look stagana. Oh, vegetables. The sailors were nagging a stach. They would take the hasta chick for the winter. In the winter time, away when I'm here, he gave me tea. Potatoes, they They never buy potatoes and they that type of chicken as well. So, it's a poor. Then, I guess, much. Yeah, no, 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 the one man, man, that's, that's our life, you know. Kutsen Matap, though, we're always here. We like our country, that's it. We, we, we can't forget it. Kakiwe, Outside parties such as the Roman Catholic Church, the Hudson's Bay Company, and the Paris-based Revlon Frères 
who opened a number of fur posts throughout northern Saskatchewan in the early 1900s, influenced the traditional economy and community of Isle of Cross, as did industries such as commercial fishing and logging. Commercial fishing provided many employment opportunities within the community. As well, fish constituted a large portion of the diet in Isle of Cross. Rita Bouvi, originally from the community, remembers the men and women, including her grandfather, Joseph Bouvi, spending countless hours making and repairing fish nets. According to Rita, her grandfather Joseph used hand-carved wooden tools to make these nets. Winter and summer. Trap, trapping, man. Trapping, trapping as for me. Look up, pull. Not happy. I go trapping. How many men have seen you so happy? Some for cotton, net. Here, I know the many who are not on net. This is a Chinese net. Not too big one. Too big one. This is new one. Why when you fish guy asks, some start to make it a fish hole. Man, ten cents a fish. Cut this white fish and get out of it. I was about and thought to have that puny. And you want to start to move again in front. Then I get the gas walk. Can I get the oxy hole from the sea film? So I'm going to be up to it. And we take a man of a pan of get out of it with George Gordon and the man boy. Ten cents of fish, which I do much. White fish for the crown and jack with more. I was six of one man. I was six of one man. I was 12 and I was 20 and I was 10. I was 10 and I was 10 and I was 10 and I was 10 and I was 10. Look, those two taking a piece of the go out of the stereo. Who does that wheel? Who does the patrona? As well as a piece of how you pick it up. Come is not for me to see what we take up. Mom, we work at this man a log in the dinner. Say, talk to me, so I hold top of the jig out of the top of the patrol to the water. Tony Rex and I give shit to the one that gets us to get. He be so our homes to be our airport. ตอนนี้ก็ชาเออตัวทุกข์ทำไมก็เปียกเปียกกัดชีวะอีสตาร์ทตัวตัวเสียวัดชีอาหารตัดตะมอกเองวันมาเออไม่ก็ยังสู้
Located next to the Hudson Bay Company Post, the mission served as a home base for priests who traveled throughout the region along established fur trade routes. From the mission at Isle of Cross, the Oblate priests traveled, spreading Catholicism to communities such as Reindeer Lake, Green Lake, Portage La Loche, Patchenac, Clear Lake, Beauval, and Buffalo Narrows. The arrival of the Grey Nuns in 1860 helped relieve the priests of their many duties. Shortly after their arrival, the sisters set up a convent which served as both a hospital and a residential school. The school, which was attended by First Nations and Métis children, and by the mixed offspring of the Hudson Bay Company officers, emphasized the basics of Catholicism, French, reading, writing, and some domestic tasks. That's why everybody was here there. The kids used to be in a convent. They're here on the last side for a year round, maybe with no break. September, when you go in in September, you get out at the end of June. Maybe we no holidays for kids' hands. That's great. My wife. The teachers go they were not that good. Huh? Mostly nuns, French, works, city, so. I know so everything is different, that's why everybody moves down now. The kids of the there's no more content. The government shut that off. Of that's why everybody moves down. Keep their kids in school days.